in the first reading today, we hear uh, how Paul goes into Ephesus and he finds these disciples and they don't even know who the Holy Spirit is. Well, how are you baptized? With the baptism of John. Uh, and it's, it's funny, uh, over the years as I've met different Catholics, they don't know who the Holy Spirit is either. Uh, and it, I'm just glad that all of you know who the Holy Spirit is, of course. But the Holy Spirit, of course, comes with power. They spoke in tongues and prophesied, and we hear about all these other incredible signs because the Holy Spirit is what unites us to the Father and the Son. He is moving in our lives in order that we can grow in union with God the Father. God the Son. Now, sometimes He gives us those gifts where we can prophesy, and sometimes the gifts of healing, and sometimes they get all sorts of other gifts which St. Paul mentions in the Corinthians, and we hear St. Peter reference. But ultimately, it's about this relationship, this intimacy with Almighty God. Jesus points this out today. He says, even though you've all, you're all going to be leaving me, you're going to be scattered and go to your own homes and you're going to leave me alone. He says, I am not alone because the Father is with me. That the Holy Spirit is continuing to unite Jesus to the Father. And Jesus points this out to us. That since we've received the Holy Spirit, in case you didn't know that, we receive the Holy Spirit in baptism, confirmation. That because we've received the Holy Spirit, because we be, have become a dwelling place of God, that we're connected to the Father. That the Father is with us. And all that we know about intimacy in terms of uh, parents, you know, an intimate moment, a tender moment with a father or mother, that's just a, a hint, a shadow, a taste of the intimacy that the Father wants with us. Just a hint, a taste of the tenderness that the Father has for you, for me. And as Jesus uh, can say, you know, even though everyone has left me alone, the Father is with me. So we can say the Father is with me as well with each of us. Will we allow him to be there? I'm thinking about um, Sister Maximilian's uh, story uh, of the Daughters of Mary, Mother of Healing Love out of Rochester and, and Manchester. Um, she tells the story about her own vocation and how after she went down to, I think it was the Dominican Republic, I could be wrong, um, but she went down there and ministered to the poor and she was overwhelmed by it and so she realized she had to change her life and uh, get out of her wild teenage years and when she came out of that she realized okay God is real I am not God and God is calling me to give my life to him as a sister so she comes back to her home I think she was in Toronto but she was from Canada anyways and she she was saying she had to give up all her friends because her friends were leading her into drinking and partying and all the wrong ways that she had to go. And she didn't want to make up new friends with the, the quote-unquote holy rollers because she, she didn't want to be associated with them. So she was alone. She was alone for a long time. But she said God was with her. Jesus was with her. The Father was with her. And he's with us. She eventually became a sister and now is in New Hampshire. But um, a reminder to us that even when we are abandoned by everyone, the Father is with us. The question is, do we recognize his presence? I think about when I went to Medjugorje back in um, 2011. Just it was a powerful experience. But in, if you've been to Medjugorje, there's really nothing to do. There's nothing to see. It's not like so many of the other pilgrimage sites. You go, go to the Holy Land, there's this and this and this. You can't see it all. Even if you were to spend a month there, you couldn't see it all. But Medjugorje, there's St. James Church, there's Apparition Hill, and there's Cross Mountain. 
There's a few other small things around that you can do, but there's not a whole lot to do. You could see it in three days. And I spent 12 days there. It was one of these things where we had to slow down. All we had to do really was pray. We weren't touring. We weren't doing things. We weren't shopping from all sorts of other things. We had only to pray and to be together. And I remember coming back, someone said to me, So Father Vaughn, did you experience Mary's presence in Medjugorje? Yes, I could feel Mary's presence there. Was it, was it more than here? I thought about it and I says, no. It wasn't more than it is here. I just had more time to pay attention to her presence. And the same thing with the Father. Too often in our lives we get tied up with the rigmarole that we're running, 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 and we don't have the time to recognize the fact that the Father is with us, that the Father is fond of you, that the Father wants to be with us. May we take the time to recognize by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Father is with us.